Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dear Young Wife with myself, Chef Daniel Lurin and the beautiful Mrs. Tommy, singer, song, actress, Adunsi Ferdinand. <laughs> Hi! Guys, she's... I'm glowing, I know. Yeah, what's, what's going on? Tell me, there's a secret somewhere. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Have you ever been this happy before in your life? Yes, I, well, I've been, um, I've gone through different phases in my life. I've been through depression and out. And um, I know that the true source to end me happiness joy is mm. actually god you know when yeah. you put your trust when you put your hopes on on things on yep. material things yep. on, on people because people are human mm -hmm. no matter how much they love you they're still human and they will hurt you once in a while but god yeah. never loses you i'm telling you so i am mm. glowing i'm happy you know god has been very good to me and then my husband is amazing, mm -hmm. can be very, very annoying sometimes, but I love him like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the moral of the story is God first. Yeah, over everything. Over everything. God first over my life, over Chef Daniel. Yeah. And um, like you've just heard, I know there might be some single um, ladies out there or some people that are about to get married yeah. and you know, you might be thinking, oh, but my wife is a bit, a bit annoying yeah. or my husband's a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. You've just said from a married woman that yeah. actually, no one is perfect. A <laughs> exactly. husband can be a bit annoying, but communication is very important. Yeah. And um, like you tell me and you advise me, yeah. um, I'm apparently team excess husband material. Um, <laughs> I, I, I sometimes think, you know, what, what, how would it be for me if I was to get married to a woman who didn't know how to cook? Oh, how would it be actually? I mean, you know the answer to this. I, I don't think you to be a problem because you've oh, always been in the kitchen. I, I mean, I won't always be in the kitchen cooking because I work. I'm a businessman, you know. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a chef. Yeah, but then but I, I love like, cooking. There'll always be food in the house. Oh, definitely, there would always be food in so, the house. In the in so the, your wife doesn't have a problem. She doesn't, and I know there's some women out there that uh, sometimes a bit intimidated. Yes, I don't. I, I won't. I won't be happy if my husband can't cook. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh, he's going to be criticizing me every time. Time. You know, it's just that thing that you know, ah, man, it's better than you. Ah. So, <laughs> well, the honest truth is, no, it's not going to be like that. If there are any young women out there who, um, why are you marketing yourself? No, no, it's not, it's not even about me. Chef if there's any you young, if there are young women out there that are <laughs> dating men that can cook okay. better than them, mm -hmm. embrace it. Embrace it. Learn from him, let him teach you. Even if he doesn't want to teach you, eat the food and enjoy yourself. Please enjoy it. As long as, as, he, in the kitchen, no? you know, as long as he hasn't made this an issue, yes. but if he's made this an issue that I want you to learn, then let me tell you something. Come cool. to Chef Daniel Lurin. Yeah, actually, because I'm learning, I've learned a lot. Have you? Yeah. Well done. I and have. She's, she's a fantastic student as well. She's yeah. really fantastic. I and um, I so, have. talking about food, what's in your cupboard? your dry store so I call it a dry so a dry store is where you keep the things that and perishable so things that don't expire immediately mm -hmm. dry store give an example things like rice mm -hmm. it's dry mm -hmm. things like um, yam flour mm -hmm. the lupos and all the things like that mm -hmm. um, things like things in the tin mm -hmm. so canned fish the sardines the tuna mm -hmm. the baked beans and all that kind of stuff so before I tell you what I will put in my dry store Let's find out what is currently in Tommy's dry store. <laughs> okay. Don't I'm, tell me nothing. I have my rice. Okay. You know. What type um, of rice do you have in there? Normal rice now. That normal bag of rice that you have in the market. <laughs> the Not all rice. the mede mede rice. Okay. Uh, the normal pop, the normal rice. The American long grain rice. Not the long grain rice. Well, it's, the long, it's the long grain, uh, yeah, American, long grain. American long grain rice. Uh, That's the normal one okay, that we normal, eat. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that it must be white and yeah. nice. Yeah. And then... Um, what else is there? Um, Gary. Okay, what type of it, Gary do you have? White Gary. You have any yellow? No. Okay, no, your husband doesn't like now. yellow? No, 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 not that. I, I just don't have it okay. right now. Okay. Um, crayfish. Okay, um, the, the powdered one? 
powdered one. And the one that's and not the been blended. And the one that is, uh, yes, and the one that doesn't. Blended. Okay. And also the big ones as well, prawns okay. or something. Yeah. And then semo. Okay. Um, yam. Okay. Yam from my early yam. <laughs> wedding. Yeah, we still have it there. I need to come and take some. <laughs> <laughs> to come and take some to eat. Okay. Yes. What else is and there? And then um, onions. You know, okay. all of that stuff. And um, yeah, beans, but beans, my mother and I taught me to put in the freezer. So, so that you the, can take off the weevil. And so the that. ants, the weevils don't get in it. Yeah, but if you have, if you like have a bag of beans, that wouldn't fit in the that freezer. Would definitely. So okay. what, what are you going to do to the rest so, of it? I mean, for your, for your beans, what I would advise you to do is if you have a bag of it, you know, just make sure you properly secure the, the open opening of the bag whether you're gonna tie it or you're gonna just make sure it's properly secured so it'll be hard for anything to get inside it and another thing which I do is I have a, a, met, a container like a plastic container and then I would put some cling film mm, on it okay. That's so a make one. it airtight and then I'll put the cover and also cling film the cover so it'll be very difficult for something so, to get oh, into it so things like that should that should I be in the dry never, store ever, 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 so it's not just about ever. keeping them in the dry it's about keeping them the right way so you yeah. keep them fresh hygienic wholesome and edible so when you want to eat your your beans you want to make that air while going in yeah the pepper that uh -huh. uh -huh. you don't want to be picking out weevils for an hour from yeah like, <laughs> and then when you even cook it you see it inside you still see weevils so which is i mean some people would eat it but <laughs> it's it's it. yeah, everything everything you just eat it is sweet it's sweet yeah. no, it's not you know you shouldn't, you shouldn't be um doing that to your body you know okay. we need to look after our body our bodies it's very very important we we, we tend to just say oh we'll be okay mm -hmm. you know wait um, my body is strong, I have a strong immune system, but over time, you know, let's let's make sure that we're eating right, we're doing the right things, we're following the right hygienic habits. So what I would tell you to put in your storeroom, basic ingredients that will enable you to be able to cook any sort of meal at any given point mm, in time. Yeah, that's, that's. So you have your normal, traditional yam, flour, delubo, you have your white, yellow gari, you have your rice for rice, See, I have different types of rice, I have the Nigerian rice, the American long grain rice. I have the basmati rice, I have um, short grain rice, mm -hmm. I, have brown bas rice. I have brown rice, I have um, I have jasmine rice, I have, um, what else do I have, I have the, the golden basmati rice, so you know different types of rice, like for example the short grain rice, the things that I would use if I was to make a pudding, so if I'm, a pudding is like a dessert, so if I'm making a rice pudding, mm -hmm. I'll use my short grain rice, mm -hmm. I want to make something maybe, um, Asian inspired, I would use the golden basmati rice. If I want to make maybe the Nigerian jollof, you know, you have Nigerian jollof versus Ghana jollof, mm -hmm. I would use the American long grain Nigerian rice, rice. you know, so things like that. Yeah. So rice is not just rice. I mean, most of us are only familiar with one type of rice, but there's so many different types of rice that we need to take into consideration. And then, uh, so things I would have in my in my pantry, in my storeroom, um, baked beans, I would mm -hmm. have um, sweet corn, mm -hmm. I would have um, red kidney beans, mm -hmm. I would have green peas, so the green peas, I would have the petty, petty one, the small ones and the bigger ones, yeah. um, I would also have coconut milk, okay. I would have hummus, hummus is um, a Mediterranean, a lot of Lebanese use it, okay. where you eat it with a pizza bread, the pizza bread is a flat okay. bread, yeah, so yeah, you just yeah. Yeah. hummus with some tahini, and some olive oil you put yeah. inside it, okay. um, then for seasonings I would have things like um, dry parsley, dry mint, um, so this, these are things that won't, won't dry out immediately. Ginger, the ginger powder, the garlic yeah. powder, but I prefer the fresh ones because it's more yeah, tasty. I actually it's, like it's, the yeah, the fresh is a lot better. Yeah. Now we use a lot of fresh ones when we're yeah. doing our yeah. cooking together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would have the, the chicken seasoning, the steak seasoning, but what I do try to run away from is to use too much seasoning. I like the natural flavors to come out. You know, when I'm cooking meat, I want the natural juices from the meat to come out. I want to taste it. I don't want to overpower it with all the seasoning of the curry, pine, yeah. this one, that one. You know, a lot of friends I know who cook the Nigerian way, what they normally do is once they add the, they call it the the Maggi. Yeah. And Maggi is not actually the Maggi brand. Yeah. Maggi is any type of seasoning any that they type, use. Seasoning. They just put the Maggi. Yeah. They yeah. use Maggi salt. Um, Thyme and curry. Yes, and that's, that's it. it. You know, but try things like parsley, 
Try things like oregano, mm. try things like dill, try things like um, what else? Past try things like mint. Really, mint? Mint is, I love using mint to cook. I love mint is so tasty with food. Wow. You know, it's not just for the mojitos. You know, use it for cooking. Experiment with different herbs and spices. And you know, if you if you're gonna do something maybe with a pasta, mm. you can use a bit of parsley. You can use or mint. You add your ginger, your garlic, the fresh let and just maybe some fresh tomatoes. Mm. And if you like um, it spicy with the pepper, mm. just chop some peppers into it. I mean, wow. you have a very tasty meal. Drizzle with some olive oil, garnish with some parsley on top, and you actually eat everything together. My goodness, it's it's just it's so tasty. It's nutritional. It's healthy. We, we need so about it. Can you please make that for me? Mm, okay, I think I will. So, guys, if there's anything you want me to make let me know we'll be coming up in episodes to come any comments any um, thoughts any opinions any questions for Tomi about married life how she's getting with married life um, any questions I am letting you know I mean I need more opinions more suggestions from you yeah. guys you and know? we should always be open to learn every day yeah. you know, we, we're not perfect we don't know everything at all um, I myself as a chef I've been in the industry for a very long time now a very very long time I'm learning new things every day and just having the opportunity to interact with you guys means yeah, a lot to us I learned I learned some few things from her like what? How to eat amala and bakery <laughs> and okufe <laughs> and not get fat. <laughs> yes, that's what's up. <laughs> she, she, takes, she takes like three three spoons and she would say, "I'm full." <laughs> come back two hours after. Two hours later. Like, I want to yeah, continue again. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best. That's the best um, way to eat. It's a terrible portion, eating habit. Don't portion listen. control. If you're going to, you know. Take a little at a time. After two hours, the food will have di digested and everything. And you go come back, back to it. To cold warm it. food? No, you warm it now. Okay, yeah. Then you I warm it waiting, and then you everything. And then you eat again. And you can eat like 10 times in a day. And you just. <laughs> one be, portion. You'll be slim. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Thank you for watching another episode of Dear Young Wife with myself, Chef Daniel Lurin, and the beautiful Tomi Otus. If I do not misses, that is. Yes. Catch us next time. Make sure you drop your comments below and we'll catch you soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.